Rockford's Ethnic Heritage Museum reopened back in February with a brand new exhibit that followed suit. We have some special guests with us to tell us more. We have Jocelyn Hare and David Ruffin. They're both here from the museum. Thank you both for being with us this afternoon. Thank you for having us. It's our pleasure. Now, back in February, when you reopened, February, of course, Black History Month, you opened with a special exhibit for that month. Is that right? Yes. That's right. We opened with an exhibit uh, that we did uh, saluting the Black Panther uh, organization. It was both, we did a, both the national view and then we also highlighted Black Panthers here in Rockford. Um, part of the exhibit also um, honored Monk Tiba, uh, who was the Black Panther leader here in Rockford. And you were mentioning that that, that leader has a connection to other well-known Rockford people. Uh, Monk Tiba, his real name was uh, Willie Kent, and he is the oldest brother of Ernie Kent, who was the basketball star and coach at the University of Oregon. So. Of course, a well-known name in Rockford for sure. So that exhibit for, for Black History Month was open, but if people missed it, they can still view it. Right. It's going to be open until the middle of June, so it's still got time. What are some of the other things people can see with that exhibit in particular? With the exhibit in particular? Well, mm -hmm. we have a signed book by Bobby Seale, one of the founders of the Black Panther organization. Um, like I said, we have uh, artifacts from the Rockford. Um, participation in the Black Panthers. Um, there's some uh, national or artifacts. And of course, we have a beret on display, which is kind of cool, so. Yeah, absolutely. Now, there are, there are other displays as well that people can view when they come there. You want to talk about those a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So each room in the Ethnic Heritage Museum is a designated gallery. So there's the Italian gallery, Hispanic, African American, Polish, Irish and Lithuanian and on the property as well we're a historical campus and it has the Graham Genestra house which is uh, was Rockford's first historical landmark. And that goes back to 1800s? 1857. Yep. Uh, and this, if, for someone who doesn't realize, this is in southwest Rockford, right? It's right here off of South Main? It's right on South Main. South right. Main and Morgan in fact. A lot of work has been done to, to keep this property up, isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to talk yeah. about it? <laughs> well, we've been working on, right now we're working on uh, putting in a pathway between the two buildings and um, about three or four years ago the city put in a municipal parking lot on the other side of Grand Genestra, so we're now coordinating all that together so you can, you know, walk between the two buildings. Um, we also are lucky enough to be working with the state and hopefully restoring the barn that's on the property. So. Oh, I didn't realize there was a barn there as well. Yes, with the Graham Genestra house, there's a barn and stable carriage house, as well as there's also a, a privy on the property as well. <laughs> That's interesting. <Yeah. laughs> now, do field trips come there? Do our schools, our students allowed to come visit? Before COVID, we uh, were having, uh, we would host field trips. We would also go off site and do uh, after school programs in the area. Um, but yeah, we're hoping to start doing more of that again. That Rockford has such a rich history, especially in that okay. area of town. It's, it's wonderful to have a location like you have to, to be able to showcase all of that. How do other visitors find out about you? Yeah. Well, so, and usually through the word of mouth, we mm -hmm. also do some advertising. Um, one of the fi exciting things for this summer is that we're doing a music, uh, si music series. Um, we're going to have six different groups perform over the summer. Um, so each of the ethnic groups uh, will, you know, have a representative who will perform. So for two hours, people can come with their lawn chairs and relax and listen to free music. What a great idea and a great way to, to showcase the whole area there. Wonderful. Right. Well, thank you both so much for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate it. And if, if someone would like more information, it's the best place to go to your website? Yes, so they can go to um, ethnicheritagemuseum.org. Um, also, we're on Facebook, and they can give us a call anytime. Um, we're open Sundays from 2 to 4 p.m., but we're always happy to set up private tours throughout the week. Well, that's good to know. So they just need to contact you if they'd like to do yes. that. All right. Well, thank you both for being with us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.